Hello, this is Spellbinder doing a report from the Worldwide Telescope, WWT, from Microsoft. Uh, I just decided to check up on the WISE, since WISE was the latest and the last of the uh, infrared sky, all sky uh, photography that was taken back in 2009 through 2010. So these would be the newest images. I come across something here in Pisces, which is this constellation right here, and this object right there, which I will zoom into it. There we go. And it's right along the elliptic also, where all the planet and the sun and everything stay along. This object, well, if you go to Iris, which was 2008, it's not there. But it is there on Wise in 2009-2010. Reached 2010, maybe. And then the two-mass imagery doesn't show it either. So I thought that was kind of strange that this object is here in these two photographs, or in this one photograph from Wise. But yet it's uh, pretty strange looking in itself. Um, and I have also went back and looked at the other object in Leo which I'll back off and head that way now get across the galactic plane and go back over here to where Leo is and here's Leo with the uh, two objects before we've seen and you can see it on Wise here it looks like it may have moved a little bit from well from that image which is right on the line you notice it's right on the elliptic. You go to Wise, it's south of the elliptic. And if you go to two mass, it's still on the line. This image is showing it down here now, and not up closer up to here. So either this carbon star, the CW Leonis, is is a star that's moving or something. In a couple of years, it's moved that much. Because if you go to here, it's basically still right on the line. Same with the uh, two mass imagery and in infrared. And but yet if you go to Wise, it's like that on Wise. So that's interesting with the carbon star, if that's what it's supposed to be. It kind of looks almost like the same object over in Pisces, except reversed, facing with these facing the other direction. Let's go back and take one more look at that real quick. I have to go across here. This is some object. This is similar to... I can't believe there would be more than one of these objects up there, but this is under the Ys too. This is under the... this is the iris. This is the two mass. It's not there, but yet this object is there now under the Ys infrared survey. Another strange object that is out there so I don't know which one is the uh, red dwarf or even if you want to call it the brown dwarf but we got several objects now that weren't caught by other satellites earlier that are now being caught by well the, the latest one there was a galaxy right next to that too somewhere in here there's something that's pointing out but this is object here isn't if you go to iris which was taken a few years ago it's not there either and then if you go to the two mass imagery from infrared it's not there but it is on wise and as i said it seems to have the same pattern but going the opposite way i can't imagine that being an error of some type it just doesn't make any sense to have errors like that on on the wise scope But uh, that object's new, and the other ones that's over here is new. This one here is new. It wasn't caught by the other satellites. Like I said, there's uh, Iris, nothing there. Two mass imagery, these are infrared. Wise is infrared too, except it's catching these things. So, you know, I'll just leave it up to you to decide what you think and you can find this on uh, 
on the WWT. Like I said this one here. 23 Leonis is right there and there's that object again the one that I originally thought was probably Nibiru's star and uh, like I said there it is there there it is on Iris and there it is on Wise and it does look like it drifted a little south of the elliptic over a four year period or two year period I guess be from 2007-2008 Depending on the satellite, I looked up the satellites, like Iris, it was a 2008 satellite. Or so, it was back in 2008 when they had that one working. They had to turn the Ys off, because it ran out of hydrogen, so they just flipped it off, and they said, well, if they ever get a chance to put new tanks on it, and they'll turn it back on. But, since we don't have the shuttle anymore, and we can't go up and capture it, it's only 326 miles above the Earth in orbit. Uh, but there it is. That's you, know, you can see it on the two mass. That was the two mass catalog picture. This is a two mass infrared imagery iris. But I don't know. There's new objects. I said I'm gonna leave it with you. You can find these. All you have to do is go through here and just stay along this elliptic line, and you'll be able to find all these objects. That's seems to be new especially this one here it's a pretty good size it's pretty good that's large and like I said it's not there if you look at it anywhere else see it just fades away nothing when you get the Y's there it is you get the iris there it isn't <laughs> it's like when you get the two mass imagery it's not there either but it is on Y's until next time this is Ballbinder just giving a heads up on what I've discovered on the newer star charts performed by uh, Worldwide Telescope and WISE. And until next time, be good, be good at it, and uh, have a wonderful day. And a, a lovely Memorial Weekend.